Hello, I'm Dorothy McCabe. I'm running to be the next mayor of the city of Waterloo. Addressing climate change and moving with more urgency with respect to decisions required in order for us to achieve our 50 by 30 targets is a key reason why I am running to serve as the mayor of Waterloo and as a regional councillor. I am committed to the actions and the goals, and I'm committed to taking an equitable and accessible approach to get there. I have been and I am a member of Climate Action Waterloo Region's Transportation Committee for a number of years. We've provided recommendations to the cities and to the region regarding improvements to transit, the bike network, and for other mobility options. And as a volunteer, I and others have provided advice to Climate Action Waterloo Region for the, to the process that staff undertook to, outreach, to do its outreach to councils, to municipal staff, to stakeholders, and to residents. As well, I've attended many of the facilitated discussions that were held in order to reach the point where we were drafting the final report. So suffice it, suffice it to say, I am the candidate most committed to taking significant climate action in this election. So some of the actions I would take first in order to reduce our GHG emissions by 50% immediately are, instead of um, accepting the car allowance that mayors uh, are able to receive, I would purchase an e-bike and a transit pass. It, it, and that is how I would get around to the events and the meetings that I'm required to attend. In addition, I would also take out a membership in a car co-op and use that when necessary. I would also work immediately with council and staff to create a private tree bylaw to ensure that trees across the city are kept as assets on all property. And also I would create and implement green development standards for private buildings. Those are a few things I would work on immediately. Other issues I'd like to tackle include to work with partners like Clean Air Partnerships and city staff to implement a local improvement charges program to encourage people to switch from gas heating and cooling to ground and air source heating and cooling of homes and, bu and buildings. I would also continue to work to increase funding for transit and active transit infrastructure and explore the possibility of eliminating transit fares for youth under the ages of 18. I would work to fix the gaps that exist in our bike networks and our multi-use our multi -use paths uh, to make sure that that network is more complete. And I would work with council and staff to prioritize the planting of more trees and particularly along the pedestrian and the multi-use paths and parks to provide shade and cooling. As well, in the winter, I would work with council and staff to ensure to improve the access to transit and by providing more snow clearing at transit stops and at intersections, especially to remove the snow windrows and immediately work to improve sidewalk snow clearing to increase mobility and accessibility for all. With respect to the question about where does local climate justice, what does local climate justice mean to me at the municipality? I can tell you that this means working with organizations like the Working Center, Adventure for Change, neighborhood associations at, in Sunnydale and other communities to ensure that transit stops and service is increased, particularly in low income areas, that we have bus shelters that provide shade and protection from inclement weather, and to ensure that the active transportation infrastructure is built in low income areas as a priority to, so that they have improved access to recreation, to libraries, to employment, to retail and to other destinations. So as I said before, I'm the candidate with the most experience in the municipal sector. I'm the candidate with a long-term demonstrated commitment to addressing climate change. I'm Dorothy McCabe, and I'm the best candidate to be the mayor of the city of Waterloo. So please check out my website, mccabe4mayor.ca. Thank you so much. And thank you for taking this climate action and advocacy at this important time.